Hello, welcome back to more Paper Mario. On PI Play Pals, I'm Ryan, and welcome on this adventure. When last we left off, we're about to head off to Shooting Star Hill, I think is the name of the place. And I'd like to point out that uh, I got 17 star points. Ooh. As you know, 17 is a sort of a running gag here on the channel. Okay, well, that's that's more than just five pieces of lumber strewn across a road that we simply can't get past. Yep, wow. But my lightning quick feet got me out. And Luigi made it out along with maybe a few others, but everyone else was taken. That's actually not good. Well, I'm sure that we'll help sort everything out eventually. But right now, we're going this way. Ooh. Purple? <gasps> oh. Oh, I like the... I like the background uh, change there. I mean, this is Shooting Star... Shooting Star Summit, not Shooting Star Hill. <sighs> what a doofus I've been. Looking for something? Drop by Merlovely's place. These are characters that are uh, running throughout the series, at least through the early entries. I'm trying to think if they were in Color Splash and Origami King. Don't remember. Yes, this is more lovely's place. Oh, you have a Triforce. Oh, a big chest. Can I open this? Empty. Why even have a big purple star chest if you're gonna just have nothing in it? Ah, my, my. I foresaw your arrival, Mario. My name is Merlovely, a stunning fortune teller. My noble calling is to read fortunes while looking absolutely ravishing. I can help you find what you seek. My twinkle star here will show me all that's hidden. My, my. Tell me, shall I read your fortune? Sure. Oh, okay. So if I want to know where the, the next thing of these are. All right. Well, I don't actually need that. So thanks, but uh, we good. Actually, wait, 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 wait. There was a door. There was a door. There was a door. <gasps> Who's this? It's like a mer, 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 mer baby. I'm the famous Merlot of Shooting Star Summit. I collect star pieces. Oh, okay. He's the guy. I do have star pieces. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Attack FXA. Change of the sound effects when Mario's attacking. Eh, payoff. The more damage Mario takes, the more coins he receives. Tempting but probably want to keep for the higher ones. Yeah. Ah, did you change your mind? I see. I did change my mind. How many star pieces were there in total? I think it said 60. So you probably can get all of the rewards eventually if you, if you manage to find them all. This is reminiscent of of the place in Super Mario RPG. I think that was called Star Hill, maybe, where you find one of the one of the star pieces. Oh man, that's going to be so good when the remake comes out. When was it coming out? November, I think. Probably do a nice uh, playthrough of that when that comes out. It's, it's the, it's the it's mustache star man. Just going to do a quick tour here. See if there are any secrets. What? 
You serious video game? Any secrets on this level? You would seriously not hide any secrets. Wait, what do I no I'm no that's actually down where I was. <laughs> it's not Oh dear. Okay, fine, 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 fine. But there should be a secret on the back side. Respect my time, video game. We've been waiting for you. Uh, oh, 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 the gang's all here. I beyond the sky. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful star haven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. And you just let a big turtle come in and grab it? You're not really good at your job. Star Rod, power beyond going right anyways. Bowser's been making wishes like, for instance, I'd like to trust Mario or I want Princess Peach to like me. Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. Well... You know, maybe if you... So I'd say maybe if you indulge those wishes, things wouldn't go too bad. That's actually not a good stance to take. He found out that we were ignoring his wishes. He came and just stole the Star Rod. Well... Oh, we gotta get the Star Rod back. Okay. Need your help, of course. I'm the only one who can solve anybody's problems. Look at this one with a book. Uh-huh. I do like the staticky effect on the sprites. That's cool. We've nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. Well, maybe if you didn't prattle on and get to the heart, heart of the matter. Being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Fine. You're doing a lot of talking for people who can't talk. Last hope. And they're gone. Do you think the princess is going to be all right? Again, different voices for everybody. I can't remember. I cannot remember. Save and continue. Oh, we're going to have a little interlude here. Sniffle. Nope, doing just fine. Oh, prison. Well, that's less fine. Yep, afraid so. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me, because I can't do anything by myself, or for myself, or anything at all, really. <laughs> How are you doing this fine day? We're so high right now. See, I have a magic wand too. <laughs> Ooh, some some deep philosophy here. I mean, the princess is not going to cause trouble. She's completely useless. <gasps> What's this? Oh, it's a tiny star person. Hello, Princess Peach. Pleased to meet you. 
My name is Twink. Oh dear. A star kid. How the hell have you heard of star kids? Oh. That's a big wish. <laughs> uh, that's a little, <laughs> that's a little above my pay grade. <laughs> Ask for something easy, like a, like a bag of chips or a, a nice refreshing Dr. Pop. Wow, wow, Star Kid. You're as useless as the princess. Ooh. A lucky star, is it? Oh. Oh, well, if, if you're fine and I don't need to worry, then I'm just going to go home and have a nap. You could also just jump off and float down. We know you can float. And Mario just like careened down while almost dead and he's fine. So show some initiative, Peach. <laughs> I was about to say, <laughs> when are we going to see Twink? Here he is. Take it. Starshape pendant lets you use the action command. What? Yeah, okay, fine. Explain because I actually don't know what that means. Oh, it's, it's, okay. Now I know what it is. I like the shooting stars in the background. Oh, it's not what it is. It's the, oh, okay. That's how you do it. I was thinking of the tactics menu, but yeah, this is how I do the extra damage and stuff. Right, 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 right. Bonk. Yes. Okay, cool. Well done. Often you have to use different techniques. Depends on the attack. Try attacking by hammer. Uh, the left and release. Yep, yep, yep. Nah, no need to practice. It's easy. It's easy. Is this a uh, cami? Hey, no, no, it's just a, just a magic koopa. What a foolish star kid. I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. I'll tell Cammy Koopa. She'll shower me with praise. She'll give me a raise. Here I come. Well, guess what? I'm going to power jump your face. 
I don't think I did the action command on that right. Uh, let's tattle. Magical bar, magical bronze. Ooh. I didn't, uh, I didn't block that correctly. I'm too slow on the, on the jump there. I think? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, we're gonna beat Bowser. Bye, Twink. Uh, okay. Oh, yes. Very lonely. Well, maybe if she showed initiative, like I said, she wouldn't be getting kidnapped all the goddamn time. Do, 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 do. So where to now? Oh, hello, Toad. What do you gotta say? Merlon. Oh yeah, spinning house dude. He's a bit eccentric. Fine. Let's go see him. Uh. Oh, did did Toad tell me what I had to do? I had to go behind his house. Hit this tree. Ooh, star piece. Nice. What did you what did you say to do? Wait, let me hit this tree first. Nothing. Fine. Did you say did you give me instructions? Merlon lives uh asked me to go to meet in his house. But here you are. Rare for him to come. Okay. But why do you keep on knocking? I'm telling you oh. Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Yep. Tis I, Mario the Mustache. <sighs> Where to begin? My name is Merlon. I am a wizard. When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important, and it concerns you. But before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It is a very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Too late. Where should I start? It was in the old days. One of my ancestors was at on Shooting Star Summit, and as usual, but one day it happened. Suddenly, a great appeared and I standing face to face and then the far away the pious uh, was raised me up and was amazing I was still so young and I, was, I like to I like to think that the game is presenting like he's telling the story but you know we're cutting out all the long bits but I like to think that it's the way that I'm reading and he's he's just kind of dozing off and just not making any sense. <laughs> and that is all that matters. And yeah, Mario's asleep. Yep, I was full of attention to what you were talking about. Okay. 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 So I can come here if I'm lost, and he'll tell me where to go next. So first, we gotta get to the great fortress of the Koopa Bros. And east on the road in front of the Toad House. I mean, there were there these very scary toads there. They were very scary. But maybe they're gone now that the game wants me to go that way. Let's do a cheeky little save before we uh, proceed. And here they are. Although I, I really have to say I love the design. I love the look of these guys, of this disguise. Huge mistake to go out there, definitely. Definitely don't go. 
You shouldn't go ask old man Merlon for help. That'd be really bad news for us. I mean, for you, <laughs> don't even think about it. Okay, we gotta go see Merlon again. Fine. Tum ti tum ti tum. Hello, we're back. Uh, I guess the game wants me to do this. What if I didn't have the money? Ooh, crystal eye open wide. Ai cha, ai ai ching. What? Aha! Ooh. And we have a disco ball. to talk directly to you and not across the your stupid table. That's ridiculous. Such a thing has never been heard of. Never. I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. Okay, huh? Well, guess we'll just follow old man wizard. Um dee dum dee dum. See? And right here. You want toads, are you? Um, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, okay, if that's kind of we're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves. Magic. Ooh, effective. Cooper Bros Fortress on it. Oh. You'll need help from a blue shelled Koopa. This is a strange portent. In Koopa Village, you might find something that will clear it up. I'm going now. Good. Fine and good. Chapter 1 Storming Koopa Bros Fortress. Well, that's probably a good time to end this episode. Next time, we're going to start chapter... This is what episode... is going to be episode 5. And just starting chapter 1. Oh well, that's the nature of games with prologues, isn't it? Big tutorials. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time for more Paper Mario on PI Playpals. Bye-bye.